Alright, I'm being told that Bednar is talking right now, coming up to the podium. So let's listen in live. Well, I didn't love her execution tonight. Goals against kind of similar to game one. Like I felt like we didn't make them earn a couple of those. Um, and then we didn't win a lot of the touches that we won in game two for, for certain. You know, like wings on the walls. They air mailed a lot of pucks out into the neutral zone. Game two, we came up with all of them. We were sitting right on top of them. Great reloads, and we came up up with most of those pucks and transitioned them. Tonight seemed like they came up with them and came in our end. You know, we had a couple bad reads, a couple turnovers. Like I just felt like the goals that we gave up, we just honestly didn't make them earn it. We'll stay front right. Yeah, Jared, um, I guess... Following up on that, what what will go into the to, into the decision about who starts in net in, in game four? Uh, same thing I always put into the decision. <laughs> What's your I guess, confidence level in Darcy right now? Well, I didn't think he had a he didn't have a good night. You know, neither did our team. So again, we win as a team, lose as a team. You can group him in with everybody else. You know, um, just weren't as good as we needed to be. Front left. Touching on what you were talking about, the goals, not letting them earn the goals that they got, is it almost, not that I would say better, but is it almost nicer to know that you can look at the film and just correct a few mistakes to, to have a better game? Or how do you go about kind of reviewing yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, certainly, you know, that's what we talked about after game one. You know, we thought we had a really good game. I thought we did some good things tonight. There were some things that I really liked from our group. It wasn't consistent enough, but the execution and some of the turnovers, like we gave up one on an easy turnover. We had good numbers back in the zone. We turned it over, ended up in the back of our net. They executed quickly on our mistakes. and um, But, you know, we had two on the rush coverage right away, had a turnover had a missed coverage where they found F3 all alone in the slot where we lost a wall battle. I mean, some of those things, like in the first couple of games, we were really good at. So we'll look at it and correct it, no question. So I think, you know, it's on us. I mean, I mean, they played well. They played hard, no question. We knew they would. Um, but we had, we had to be a little bit better than that. On the left side, Guillaume. Hi, Jared. Um, what did you think of the delay uh, when you, when they asked for a review on on Nishushkin's goal in the first period? Uh, what did you make of the the delay that they were allowed before? Uh, it was long. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to tell you. It's probably three times the length we normally get. Stay on the left side, Ken. Jared, obviously Nathan McKinnon's generating a lot of scoring chances, but hasn't been able to get one in this series. Uh, how much better equipped is he to handle that, knowing, like you said earlier in the series, that he doesn't have to carry it all on his shoulders, and maybe if he keeps getting the volume, that it, it's eventually going to come for him? Yeah, I, th I think much better. You know, The last thing you want to do is get frustrated, especially if you're getting opportunities and creating opportunities. Eventually it will come. There's not, you don't have any choice as a, as a player but to stick with it. You know, you know you're doing the right things. You're creating chances. You're helping your line mates create chances. You just got to stick with it and keep going. You know, eventually you'll, you'll break through if, you, if the volume is there and quality is there. Take a few more for Coach on the right side. Coach, already looking forward. <laughs> What are the main points for your team for the next 48 hours prior to the four, game four? Regroup, look at the mistakes we made, talk about how to correct them, look at some of the adjustments they made, what we feel is really important to our game um, within the adjustments that they made. Um, some of them are obvious to me already as the game went on. Uh, and then the, you know, where I thought one of the big things is I thought, not that we didn't compete, because I liked some of our compete tonight, some of the things we did, but I think we had an advantage when it came to the competitive spirit in game one and game two, and tonight they had it. They played with a little bit more desperation. Um, you know, I thought we had a pretty good start, but, you know, you got to be able to, again, clean up some of the things that we didn't do well in, in this game, and, you know, that kind of gave them life. Um, 
And then, you know, we, we, you know, Vasilevsky made some big saves. I thought we had some good opportunities when the game was tight early on. He made some big saves on. So, you know, a play here or there can be the difference in the hockey game. We'll do one more question back right. Hey, Jared, right here. Um, you knew Tampa Bay was going to come back and be desperate, as you just mentioned. Was, was that more of the team that you had expected going into the series, the team that's won back-to-back champ, uh, um, titles now? Yeah, I thought, I mean, I thought they were good. I mean, you knew they were going to come. It's an important game. And, and uh, you know, at times I kind of really liked the way we handled it and some of the things we did on the offensive side of it. But the, the execution under pressure tonight was, was not great, you know. So uh, I think we had some plays to make that we didn't make. I think uh, on some of the entries, you know, they pushed us a little bit. We got a little cute with the puck where I thought in game one and game two we weren't. We weren't. We were just moving. And if we didn't have anything, we'd put it in behind their D and go get it. Um, willing to do that work and not getting stubborn. So I would say, yeah, I think obviously that was the best game of the series and it wasn't ours. So thank you for your time, Coach. Yep, thanks. All right, that's Coach Jared Bednar speaking live at. Emily Arena in Tampa Bay as the Avalanche lose game three, six to two. We'll talk a lot more uh, about this game and go live and hear from some of the players coming up next. But we'll be right back after this break.